Dr. Bones Healthy Safari. Ryan and Sarah had been married a while and were expecting their first child. They decided to take one last trip as a couple and go explore the wild. They packed up and flew across the ocean to the continent of Africa. Their plane landed near a popular safari in the country of Botswana. Ryan and Sarah settled into their treehouse and prepared for their fun stay while looking across the savanna and watching all the animals play. Elephants and giraffes were eating different grass, leaves and fruit, reminding the couple that fresh food is good for their bodies without dispute. They thought of several ways they could be healthier when they returned home. Maybe plant a garden, go to a farmer's market, order healthy food online, and spend less time on their phone. The zebras were running around the pond filled with swimming hippos, reminding Ryan and Sarah that they too need to exercise and move their toes. The night grew near, they climbed into bed to be rested for the next day. The sun began to rise over the trees, shining its beautiful rays. Sarah jumped up, Ryan, let's go, it's time to see the animals. They got ready in a hurry and made sure to grab their cameras. They knew this trip would be memorable, but it was more than they imagined. Ryan and Sarah jumped into the truck and drove off to the safari, seeing the lions with their cubs relaxing under the trees without worry. Ryan looked at Sarah and said, look how relaxed the hippos are being. We can learn a lot from them instead of always being in a hurry. Sarah said, yes, look how much water the animals drink. They look at each other, then back at nature and began to think. The busyness of their life at home had begun to take its toll. They are about to be a family of three and need to take control. Ryan and Sarah enjoyed the rest of their excursion in the truck, then returned to the treehouse and rested in their hammocks. Suddenly, a monkey swung into their treehouse, stating, Hi, I'm Max! Ryan, look, a talking monkey! The couple was taken aback. It's okay, said Max. We are going to be just fine. Who? asked Sarah. Everyone replied, Max. Let's listen and learn about our spines. I saw you on your safari tour learning about us, so we thought we'd share now that we have earned your trust. Ryan said, sure, and followed Max to meet his other safari friends, saying, Harry the hippo, Gus the giraffe, we are climbing down the vine's end. Hi, everyone. This is my friend Ryan and his wife, Sarah. They are visiting us today. Gus said, how are all of you doing on this beautiful day? We are great, said Max. Gus, is your tummy and head feeling okay? They still hurt, said Gus. It's making it difficult to eat and play. Have you gone to see Dr. Bones, asked Max. Gus said, no. Who's Dr. Bones, asked Ryan curiously, looking to learn and grow. Gus said, Dr. Bones is a safari chiropractor and helps all of us. Gus, the longer you wait to get help, the harder it is on your body. Let's go see Dr. Bones together, said Max. You won't be sorry. As they looked through the window, they watched Dr. Bones fix and adjust Gus's spine. Gus walked out happy and strong, saying, I feel fine. Harry walked up to Gus and said, wow, look at you. You look so tall and happy. Hey, Dr. Bones, can you share what it is that you do for us here in the safari? Sure, said Dr. Bones. Your nerves work better when I fix your spine. Then it's up to your body to do the healing. But remember, it will take a bit of time. My exams let me know where the body needs the most support. Making sure you get routine checkups helps us keep an accurate report. Ryan chimed, just like how brushing our teeth helps avoid decay. Chiropractors help our body function in our, their own unique way. That's right, said Dr. Bones. Chiropractic is not just about the spine, but rather what's going on inside of it that makes us feel fine. The same creator who put the fish in the ocean allows us to feel our emotions. Our creator who made the stars twinkle in the sky gave us all a nervous system to keep us alive. Ryan and Sarah were amazed at how much they were learning. Then Sarah felt her body change and what she told Ryan was alarming. Ryan, the baby is coming, the safari nurse rushed over in a hurry. She told Sarah, I will help you bring this new life into the world without worry. It's a girl, yelled Ryan. The safari animals all cheered with joy. Dr. Bones checked their baby's spine so the new life could be enjoyed.
for days, Ryan and Sarah cherished and were grateful for their new baby girl. While saying their goodbyes, they were preparing for a whole new world. The animals sat around the pond and talked about the fun with Ryan, Sarah, and all the good times. Then they thought and shared, we will forever take care of our spines. As they watched the sunset, Gus asked Max, Hey, what are we doing tomorrow? Max replied, I will let you know then. But right now, let's just enjoy our right now. The end. I hope you enjoyed the book. You can order them on Amazon or you can order in book for your chiropractic office at soellovebooks.com. That's S-O-E-L-L-O-V-E books.com. Bye.